Battle of Sir Jantaka was a 1918 Finnish Civil War battle fought 28 to 29 April in Sir Jantaka, Tolos, between the German Baltic Sea Division and the Finnish Red Guards. Thousands of Red refugees were fleeing east, while they were blocked by a small unit of Germans in a highway crossing in the small village of Sir Jantaka. After hours of desperate fighting, the Reds managed to break through and continue their journey. Battle of Sijantaka and the preceding battle in Hauho were the only battles the Germans lost during their one-month military campaign in Finland. They were also the last Red victories of the Civil War. The battle itself was totally unnecessary. It had no effect to the result of the war and either side gained nothing as the Reds were captured only a couple of days later. Chapter 1 Background after the city of Tampere had fallen on the 6th of April, the Red Guard General Staff ordered their troops to retreat to the eastern part of Red-controlled Finland in order to form a new front behind the river Kaimijoki. The Reds first started fleeing from Tampere, Pori and Toku and were soon joined by Reds from the Helsinki area as the Germans took the city on the 13th of April. In the three weeks, tens of thousands of Red Guard fighters, their family members and other Red supporters were marching east. About 25,000 travelled through the town of Hemenlina, in the southern part of Tavastia province. As the Germans were closing Hemenlina in 25-26 April, there was still up to 4,000 refugees in town. The road heading east from Hemenlina was now blocked, so the Reds had to make their way through a new route, first 30 kilometres north, then across the small river of Alvichula and back southwards to Hauho and Tolos. Chapter 2 Battles in Alvichula and Hauho The Red Column reached the Alvichula River, 30 km north of Hemenlina, in the early morning of 26 April. The Finnish Whites were in defensive positions on the east side of the river with their machine guns aimed to the brigade. The Red artillery started firing at 5 am but the Reds did not make their first effort to cross the river until the evening. After ten hours of fighting, they managed to cross the bridge in the next morning and finally made their way through the white lines in the afternoon. Nearly 150 Reds were killed as the Whites lost only 11 men. The column then headed six kilometers, south to Hauho where the Reds stayed for the night. They were now joined by 1,000 more refugees who had come from the north. At the same time, the Germans had taken Hemenlina. General Major Konrad Theodor Wolf then sent a unit of 400 men to Sir Jantaka, a village and highway crossing 25 kilometers east of Hemenlina. The German unit was commanded by the Major Hodert von Raden. He was not aware of the approaching Reds and therefore did not expect any fighting. Raiden decided to scatter his men to the nearby villages and finally there was only less than 150 men left in Sir Jantaka. Late in the evening of 27 April, two white officers informed Raiden of the Reds in Hauho. For some reason, Raiden then ordered an attack against the village. The operation was carried out early next morning with only one German bicycle company and a small unit of Finnish whites. The attack failed totally as the Reds stroked the enemy back, causing them nearly 50 dead while only 14 Reds were killed. After the battle, the Red Column started marching towards Sir Jantaka, about 20 kilometers southeast of Hauho. Chapter 3 Battle in Sir Jantaka After being informed of the failure in Hauho, Raiden realized his men were soon to face an overwhelming enemy. At 3 p.m., Raiden ordered his men to dig into defensive positions. The Germans formed a 1.5 km long line of trenches in the fields surrounding the village. Raiden also called for additional forces and General Major Wolf decided to send a unit of 200 to 300 men, under the command of Major Lothar von Brandenstein. His troops never reached their destination as they were stuck in a fight with the Reds by the small lake of Panyajavi, Three kilometers west of Sir Jantaka. The Reds reached Sir Jantaka at 9 p.m. The artillery started pounding German positions and soon the Reds were attacking towards the enemy lines. A desperate blow after another was made through the night. 
the red male fighters were joined by armed women and children. Finally at 5 a.m., Raiden called his men to pull back. They were running out of ammunition and Raiden had lost two-thirds of his men dead or wounded. The Germans retreated to the nearby Lake Sulai Javi, and set the village on fire to slow the Reds. Wooden buildings were now burning on the both sides of the road and the Germans watched the flames from the nearby hill. The Reds were now stopped for several hours, they could not proceed until the houses were burned out at 10 a.m. The column then marched through the village for the next six hours. It was 18 kilometers long, with at least 4,000 to 5,000 people, according to some sources even 10,000. As the Reds passed the village, they set the other side of the crossing on fire in order to prevent the Germans following them. However, the Germans managed to hit to the tail of the column and take 150 prisoners, including 30 to 40 fighters of the Valakayakoski Women's Guard who had a major role in the Battle of Alvichula. The women were handed to the whites who took them to Hauho, where they were executed two days later. The Finnish Dr. J. K. Klemola, who entered Sirjantaka a day after the battle, described the site as shocking, a piles of human bodies and dead horses lying around the smoky ruins of the burned village. Chapter 4, Aftermath As the Reds passed Sirjantaka, they marched towards east for the next couple of days, but the Germans and Whites tightened their noose and up to 30,000 fleeing Reds were finally captured near the city of Lati. They were gathered to the Felman concentration camp after the Battle of Lati was over on the 1st of May. Most of the women and children were soon sent back home, but some of them as well as the captured men were closed to prison camps around southern Finland. The German commander Hodet von Raden committed suicide in January 1919. The failures in Hauho and Sirjantaka were most likely the main reasons for his suicide. Chapter 5 Commemoration. The eleven Germans killed in the Panujavi area are buried in a common grave next to the present-day National Road 10 and the Panujavi Industrial Park. The rest of the Germans were laid to Hermenlina in the Tartipuisto Park. In 1962 the bodies and the memorial were transferred to the old cemetery. Eighty-seven Reds, including two women, are buried in a mass grave in Sijantaka. A memorial was finally erected in 1967. There is also several single graves around the woods between Hauho and Sirjantaka, but burial sites of most of the killed Reds are unknown. The memorial of the battle was erected in the Popilan Marquee Hill of Sirjantaka, in 1968. Chapter 6, In Culture Finnish authors Vina Linna and Vajo Meri have both described the battle. It is featured in the second part of Lina's classic trilogy under the North Star as one of the main characters is killed in the battle.